First of all, I'd like to thank whichever one of you donut munching, barrel assed, pud pulling sissies leaked this to the press. That's just what we need now. Some sensational story in the papers making these boys out to be superheroes triumphing over evil. Let me squash the rumors now. These two are not heroes. They're just two ordinary men who were put in an extraordinary situation, and they just happened to come out on top. Yes, nothing from our far-reaching computer system has turned up diddly on these two. All we know is what we found out from the neighbors. And the general consensus is... They're angels. But angels don't kill. And we got two bodies in the morgue that look like they've been serial crushed by some huge friggin' guy. <laughs> Are we considering these guys armed and dangerous? Well, not armed. If they had guns, they would have used them. But dangerous? Very. Now, what makes you think they're dangerous? I mean, maybe they're just protecting each other. Yeah. Hey, look. I'm not saying one way or the other. Just be careful and go by the protocol on this. It's Grunt Police Works going to bring this one in. These guys are miles away by now. But if you want to beat your head against the wall, then here's what you're looking for. They're scared, like two little bunny rabbits. Anything in a uniform or flashing blue lights is going to spook them, OK? So the only thing we can do is put a potato on a string and drag it through South Boston. Thanks for coming out. You'd probably have better luck with a beer. Hey, you would. Oh, fuck. Hey, Greenlee, onion bagel. Cream cheese. <laughs> 